Today we're going to be using a filled crappie cork. Here's just some tips that will help you to determine how your cork should stand in the water. Most of the corks that are sub corks are elongated. They have colors on top and bottom and a middle black line. Ideally, you would like to have the water, water level at that black line. So as little of the cork showing as possible is really ideal because there's less resistance when the fish strike it. So when a cork goes under, you'll see it detected. What happens when your bobber is sitting sideways or laying flat? Well, if you're just starting fishing, you throw it out there and it's a little bit at an angle, then the cork itself isn't matched with the weight of your jig or the metal rig that you're using. The best things about these corks is, is that they are marked and labeled. This one happens to be an eighth ounce, so I match it with an eighth ounce jig. What if I'm using a metal and I just want to put a crappie hook on it? Well, basically then what I do is I, I'll find some split shot and the split shot and a jig that I might normally use, I match the head of that split shot with the jigs that I would normally use. So if this crappie cork is an eighth ounce crappie cork, then basically I'm going to pick up a split shot that matches what would be an eighth ounce jig. Go to the store, look on the racks, match your split shot with the jig heads that are sitting nearby. And that way you'll be able to get your cork to set straight up. Just simply take a split shot, slide it up about six or eight inches above your hook, clip it on, and then your cork will set straight. Try that, it'll help you catch more fish.